and welcome back. Today is going to be my long overdue eyeshadow palette declutter. This needs to happen. The last one I did was honestly, I think over a year ago now. So yeah, it's, it's time to dive into this drawer because I can't even close it. I have to have a lot of palettes out on my bookshelf or this puppy does not want to actually shut. You know what I'm saying? This isn't even all of it. It's, oh, I don't even know if I want to show you guys this, but I have another drawer right above this one that has more eyeshadow inside of it. Oh God. I have them categorized though. So this top drawer that you're looking at here, let me zoom you out a tiny bit so you can see it better. This drawer is actually all drugstore eyeshadow palettes. So I'm thinking I want to do just the higher end eyeshadow palettes today. I'm gonna split it up into two parts because there's no way I can get through both drawers. I don't even know how many eyeshadow palettes I have in here, but I know it's too many. <laughs> so this is gonna be a cut throat declutter. I cannot get sentimental with everything. I need to get rid of some palettes because I also, as one person, cannot use in my entire lifetime this much eyeshadow. It's just physically impossible for me to do so. So I need to give this away to someone who is going to be able to use it and love it instead of me just having it sit in a drawer where it just looks pretty. Like that, there's no point in it. You know what I mean? So I, I need to be very strong today and uh, get rid of at least 40 to 30 percent. 30 percent on the low end, 40 percent on the high end. If I could get rid of 50 percent, that would be great, but I <laughs> I know myself. <laughs> let's aim for 40 percent of the eyeshadow palettes to go. All right, let's quit rambling and, uh, and begin this declutter. I'm gonna first start by clearing out the drawer. We'll count them and we'll see how many are in there and then get right into it. I had 67 eyeshadow palettes inside of this one drawer. So that number needs to be reduced greatly today. Let's get started. Okay, I know a couple that I'm already gonna start with decluttering, so let's pull those guys out. All right, so first up to be decluttered, I have two palettes here by Morphe. I got the 35M and the 35 S palette. Both really beautiful palettes, but I got these almost four years ago, and it's getting to be that time for these palettes. I mean, they are not supposed to really last that long. <laughs> I mean, you definitely can make them stretch, but I think they're supposed to only last for like two years or something like that. So I think these have definitely reached the end of their life here. I did really enjoy them, but honestly, they have also fallen to the back of the drawer here, and I just haven't been reaching for them. So I think it's time for me to move on from these two guys. Then I have another set of two eyeshadow palettes that I'm gonna be decluttering by Too Faced. The first one is the Natural Matte Palette, and the other one is the Cat Eyes Palette. I actually got both of these at TJ Maxx back when I didn't have quite as large of a collection, and I just don't reach for them anymore. I have other palettes that I reach for over these ones, and they've just been sitting in the drawer, and I need to be cutthroat about it. So I'm gonna declutter both of these guys and pass them along so someone else can get some use out of them instead of my drawer just keeping them. All right, so we got four out, but I'm about to bring three in that are not going anywhere. So first things first, we got the beautiful blood sugar palette. I literally just got this one in my Beautylish lucky bag. Haven't even gotten the chance to play with it. So this one is not going anywhere. She is staying. Then I have the Blue Blood palette that honestly, I wasn't thinking I was gonna get that much use of this one, but it's a beautiful palette and I use it quite frequently. Not every day, don't get me wrong, but when I wanna play with some blues and just experiment, I love that palette. And then the 
Thirsty palette is a new addition as well. I got this one in the winter mystery box or what is it called? The Christmas box, <laughs> whatever it was called. But I got this one in that one and it is a really nice palette. So I'm gonna keep that one because that one's also really new. Oh man, and then we got one to declutter here. This is the Urban Decay, what are you called? Beauty with an Edge palette. This one, oh, it's a classic. An oldie, but a goodie. It had some really pretty colors in there, some really unique shades, but I haven't reached for this in a few months. This was another one that I said in my previous declutter a year ago that I said if I didn't start reaching for it, I was gonna declutter it, so I need to stick to that. It's going in the pile to declutter. Cutthroat, 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 we got this. This is gonna be a tough one. I'm pulling out some ABH here. Oh man, then we got a palette that I hate to part ways with. This is the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. I love this palette, as you guys can tell by how many shades I have panned, but I actually have had this palette for way too long now. I think I'm going on like six years? Or is it longer? My sister-in-law got this for me for Christmas. I think I was 18 or 19. Either way, that's six or seven years ago. So unfortunately, it's just a little bit too old now, but I'm actually gonna be repurchasing this one and just getting a newer version of it because I love it that much. So I'm parting ways with it, but I'll get another one. And then going back with some more ABH, this is the Prism Palette. Honestly, this was a really pretty palette. I actually got this one at TJ Maxx for about half price, which I'm happy I did, because this isn't really a palette that I reach for. I've tried to on numerous occasions, and I don't know, it's just something about the look. It never turns out to be what I intended it to. I mean, very pretty shades, but it's just not something that you reach for all that often, in my opinion. I think I'm gonna be decluttering this one just because otherwise it's just gonna stay here. Those ones hurt. Oh, and then I have one palette that is actually not really a palette. It's a single shadow combo that I've plopped in some random shades in here. So this one actually needs to go up in my other drawer here. I don't really count that one as a palette. I keep forgetting and I put it back in here. All right, and then I got another palette I'm gonna be holding on to. This is the So Jaded Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Collaboration Palette. It's dirty because it's been used. Oh my gosh, I got a lash. Do you, do you see this? <laughs> wow, could have been mistaken for a spider. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my gosh, it got, it was stuck here on the side. Embarrassing. As you guys can tell, I've been using this one, seeing as there are lashes attached. I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down now that I have it open. There we go, a little bit better. It looks a little bit cleaner. I'm gonna try to make sure I clean out all the ones that I'm keeping just to have things look a little bit neater. But this is one I'm definitely hanging on to. I really enjoy this palette. I think it has some great shades inside of it. So many combinations that you can do. And I just have fun and get inspired when I see the palette, so. Definitely hanging on to her. Another really fun palette that I'm definitely gonna be hanging on to. This is the Glam Light Viva Taco Palette. I mean, just look at that one. Oh, it's actually upside down. There we go. This is a very bold and out there palette, but it is just so fun. And the shades in here are freaking intense. Like those two, I'm grabbing those. Boom, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, really great, <laughs> great. <laughs> really great quality from this palette. So happy with that one. Then a palette I am gonna be cutting out of the collection here is the MAC Purple Times Nine. This is a little bit of an older palette, I believe. It has all purples in there, and I just honestly wasn't fond of this formula. I felt like the shadows were a little bit dry. They're not really pigmented. They're super light, and you really gotta build them up. I mean, you can barely see that one. 
So I honestly don't really reach for that one. I mean, especially if you saw the purples inside of this guy. I mean, these ones, instant pigment. This one, not so much. So this one's definitely a declutter. Then back to it with another palette. I am gonna be actually decluttering. This is the Suva Protege palette, I believe you call it that. Here's what she looks like inside. And this one, I actually had quite a bit of issues with, with that kind of plum shade up here. That one got really patchy for me. I don't know what was going on with it, but man oh man, it did not want to blend. It just left patches all over the lid. Could not get it to work. I mean, the other ones are pretty, but it's not enough for me to actually want to keep it. I just have others that I will reach for over this one, so time to go. Oh man, oh man, oh man, here we got another palette that is not going anywhere. This is the Friendcation palette, and I giggled because it's quite dirty. I've tried to clean her though. I love this palette. This is honestly one of my favorite palettes. She stays up on my bookshelf permanently because I reach for it so often. She's gonna go back up there once I'm done with this video, so I'm gonna try to keep her up top. Such a good palette. We'll not be decluttering that ever. Next up, we got ourselves the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. There's no volume on the back here, so I think it's just the original. Here is what she looks like. It is made up of basically all shimmer shades except from this one and I think that one. So then the rest of them are all shimmers and I mean it's a pretty palette but honestly it's nothing really exciting. It's very neutral and it mainly being shimmers it's kind of difficult for me to reach for it because I'm not someone who really reaches for all shimmer palettes all that often and if I do it has to have some really bright vibrant shades because I feel like I have these shades within other palettes that have a lot more shades within them so I mean I just don't reach for her all that much so I think it's time to part ways. Okay, okay, doing good. We're doing good. Oh, another good one here. <laughs> so this is the BH Daisy Marquez palette. Super, super pretty. I've created a lot of really fun looks with this palette. Some that are really colorful and others that are actually really wearable. You get some really nice colors in here that makes you want to experiment and also can be a little bit day to day. So that's what I really like with this palette. I'm definitely going to be keeping her. I reach for that one quite a bit. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, ten getting rid of. Okay, we're doing really good. Okay, let's keep this going. Let's keep this momentum. Oh, I'm about to lose that momentum. <laughs> Up next, I got two palettes here by Ace Butte. So this one here, the Scarlet Dusk, is my most recent addition. I just got this one in my BoxyCharm video of this month, and I've worn it in two separate videos now. And both times, I got so many compliments by you guys on my eyeshadow look, and a lot of you guys asking what was on my eyes, and this was it. Really, really nice quality of the shades. Super pigmented. These shimmery metallic shades are unbelievable. So I'm hanging on to this one, and it actually is gonna replace this one, which is the Grand Dois palette that I got in BoxyCharm a few months back. And I was honestly gonna keep both, but then I was like, you know what? I think I would reach for the Scarlet Dusk more than the Grand Dois palette, so let's pass along this guy and keep the Scarlet Dusk. Cutthroat. And we have some Wander Beauty here now. So I have the Wanderous Rush palette. And I also have the Wanderous Seascape. So let's take a little peek here at these guys side by side. And you know what? I've never held these up and compared them to each other, but man, they look friggin' similar. I never caught that before, wow. I'm actually gonna be decluttering both of these palettes. And you know, the formula of the shimmery shades is just not really my personal cup of tea. You have to really only use your fingertips to apply them. If you go in with a brush, they are not gonna have any kind of payoff, which I mean, isn't really too big of a deal, but if you're someone who does get like fake 
you know, fingernails. <laughs> it can be a little bit difficult for you to use, so I don't really reach for it all that much. And I mean, as on the go kind of travel palettes as these are meant to be, because they're meant for the woman on the go, I just, for me personally, I don't think I have enough shades in here to create a look if I carry just one of them with me. I need a little bit more. <laughs> I am a very extra when it comes to my makeup, so for me, these palettes just, you know, they're not for me. We all have a personal preference, and um, I definitely like my more out there eyeshadow looks. So I think I'll pass those on to someone who's really gonna love them. <laughs> so let's move on to two minis that are a little bit more up my alley here. The Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette and the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions. Now this is a little bit more my speed in comparison to the Wander Beauty. In these ones you get nine shades in each one and you get a variation of the mattes and the shimmers, which is kind of what I like. I like to have a lot of mattes to be able to work with. With, and these are really good for traveling. So I'm actually gonna be holding on to the both of them because I think they are really nice to have on hand if you are traveling. Oh, and another mini that I'm gonna be holding on to that's a really good travel palette. This is the Ciate London. What are you called? Oh yeah, this one doesn't say the name anywhere. It's just the nine pan oop, eyeshadow palette. This was the Christmas edition. I think it was for this year. Super pretty palette. Really nice to travel with. Got a lot of good options in here. So hanging on to her. Oh, oh man. Then we got ourselves a tough one here. Oh gosh, now it's getting tricky. Okay, these are the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palettes that are the mini coffins. Honestly, I am keeping most of them just because they are kind of like a cool piece. I mean, they're in a shape of a coffin. Who doesn't love that? I have four different ones here. I mean, we all kind of saw what happened here with Kat Von D this previous year. I'm not really gonna touch on that too much. I know she has left her brand though, and they are rebranding and they're no longer calling it Kat Von D Beauty, they're calling it KVD Beauty, which I think is supposed to stand for the the new company. I can't quite remember their name. It's like Kevin Be Beauty or something like that. It's something with a K. I double checked because I didn't want to give you guys wrong information and on their Instagram page it does say that it no longer stands for her initials but the KVD is supposed to stand for Kindness Vegan and Beauty and Discovery. But yeah, so I mean, we all kind of know what's been happening with that. But as far as these palettes go, I mean, I did come to realize that I was really keeping them just for aesthetics because I love the look of them with the coffin shape. But honestly, I have not reached for these palettes in months. Dare I say, has it been a year yet? <laughs> I don't know, but it's been way too long for me to justify keeping these. I think I should pass these along while I still can, because technically you can keep eyeshadows for like two years. So I wanna give these out to someone who will actually use them, because I mean, just for me to keep makeup, just hold on to it, it, it doesn't really make much sense. You know you have too much makeup when you have to split up a declutter into two days. That's where I'm at right now. It is day two. Let's get this finished. All right, so I've got another easy stay here. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Volume 1 palette. I freaking love this palette. She has been well used, as you guys can tell by how dirty she is. I personally really enjoy the color story of this palette. I think the pigmentation's good, the blendability's all there. This is definitely my go-to summertime palette. So that one is for sure staying. Let's see, we got another one that is gonna be staying. This one is a very new addition. This is the Too Faced Palm Springs Dreams palette. I actually haven't been able to play with this one that much because I literally just got it in last week. So I've only played with a couple shades and I mean, it looks good so far, but I haven't been able to play with everything yet. So need to keep using that one. But then let's toss in one that is gonna be decluttered. This is the ColourPop Make Up Your Mind palette. This one was the one they had last year that everybody voted on and you got to select the colors that went in here. I actually got this free with a purchase and 
I was really happy with it. I mean, the formulation of these shimmery shades are absolutely beautiful. Whoops, focus. I really enjoy the formula of these guys, but honestly, I don't reach for this palette all that much. It's six shimmery shades inside of here. And I mean, with so many eyeshadow palettes that I have here, it's kind of difficult for me to reach for one small shimmery palette. So I have, I have actually been forgetting about this one and I feel like it's gonna keep happening. So I am gonna declutter this. But that seriously was a good palette, so that's a tough one to have to declutter. I had to be stronger. Uh, let's keep going with my color pops here while we're at it. I think these are all of them. Looking through my collection here. Yes. Okay, so I think these are all my ColourPop eyeshadow palettes that I have at the moment. Let's look at this guy first. Okay, so Blue Moon. Oh, this is a tough one. I got this one and I did a comparison between this one and the Blue Blood palette. And it's a tough one. Oh my goodness. Because it's also like, oh, do I really need that many blue eyeshadow palettes? Probably not. Probably not, but they were very different. And I mean, if I wanna do something drugstore and blue, I may need this one. Okay, weakness. <laughs> I'm keeping the blue moon. I can't help it. Then let's go into the Sweet Talk palette here, also by ColourPop. This one is also a really, really nice palette. This is one of my more recent purchases by them. And honestly, I really, really, really love this palette, except from this dark shade down here. That one I actually had a lot of patchy issues happening with. So I use everything in this palette except for that shade which is really unfortunate. Would I repurchase this one? Probably not, because I know that shade is a little bit patchy, but since I have it, you know, I do really love the other shades and there were some really unique formulas in here. One was a jelly shadow, the other ones were pressed glitters, which I mean, to each their own if you like the pressed glitters or not, but they were really good formulas that stayed all day. So I think I'm gonna keep that one. Ooh, okay, okay, getting tough here. So Element of Surprise palette. This is definitely one of my older palettes that I own by ColourPop. This one and the ColourPop. I forget what this one was originally called. I did the <laughs> video on discovering this was supposed to be a Kathleen Lights collab palette called Lumina. Here she is. So both of these are definitely my older palettes, have been very much used, as you can tell, very dirty. There we go, so much better, cleaner up a bit. And this is one of those cases where it comes down to, since I have such a large collection, I think I do need to declutter at least one of these. If I didn't have as large a collection as I did, I would probably be keeping both of them, but I gotta be cutthroat here. So I actually use the, still forget what this one's called, Lumina palette more than I use the Element of Surprise one just because I mean, you can tell how dirty the other one was. I dip into that one quite frequently. So I think I'm gonna say goodbye to the Element of Surprise palette and I will keep the Lumina. So then that just leaves my very last color pulp a color probe? <laughs> color pop palette. This is the misunderstood one. It was the Villains Disney collab palette. It's definitely very unique in the color scheme, and that's what I like about it. So I'm definitely gonna be hanging on to this one. And it's also still a very recent addition to my collection, so I'm not gonna be parting ways with her anytime soon. Okay, not bad. I got rid of two ColourPop. I'd say that's that's pretty good. Oh, easy one right here. So this is the Venus Excess Silver by Lime Crime. Very beauty, the beauty. <laughs> My goodness, I am just getting tongue twisted today. This is a very cute little mini palette. It has a cool toned silver color story. And this one my mom actually really, really wanted. So easy peasy, I'm gonna be giving this one away to her. Up next, I got a palette here by Laura Lee. This is the Party Animal palette, the one we got in BoxyCharm. This was the more adventurous palette with the neons and everything. I actually have a lot of colorful eyeshadow palettes as you guys are about to see. And when it comes to creating colorful looks, I just tend to gravitate to choosing the other palettes over this one. I get a little bit more variety with those palettes. So I think I'm actually gonna pass this one along just so someone else could enjoy it. Oh, which, speaking of colorful palettes, here I got my Morphe X James Charles palette. I mean, this is extremely colorful. When you want color, I go for this palette. It's just got a lot of shades inside of here. I actually dip into it quite a bit. You know, I do 
prefer some shades in here more than others. I am not really a huge fan of working with pressed pigments. They are a little bit more tricky to work with and if you're trying to do something quick, you know, they're not really the way to go. So I'm not too thrilled that all the pressed pigments were in here, but it does ha still have a lot of good shades inside of here. So I'm definitely going to be hanging on to this one just because I love that you get like all the colors of the rainbow inside of this palette. So this is definitely a really fun one to keep on hand if you want to be adventurous, which I do enjoy doing. So I'm going to hang on to that one. And then that brings me to the Wet n Wild palette that is supposed to be like a, you know, dupe for the James Charles palette. And I actually did a full video comparing this one to the James Charles palette. I'll put it up here. That way you guys can check it out. But I do swatches of all of them side by side. And although they are very, very similar, there was not a lot of shades that were exact copies. Only a few shades were kind of like spot on, but they were pretty different. So I actually think I want to keep this one on hand because this is a really good one for, you know, doing like a drugstore look and getting to play with a lot of different colors. So I'm going to be hanging on to this one. Got another one here that is going to be staying put inside my collection. This is the Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics. Very new to my collection. I just got this one in a BoxyCharm like a month, maybe two months ago. Really beautiful colors in here. I had a lot of fun experimenting with them. I think the shadow quality is really good, so I'm going to be keeping her. She's really nice. Now I got one more for the declutter pile. This is the Too Faced Glitter palette. It is made up of two matte shades, the white and the black, and the rest are all of the shimmery formula. I don't know what it is. I just don't really reach for this palette all that much. Maybe the shades are just a little bit too muted for me. No clue, but honestly, I haven't reached for this palette all that much, and for that reason, she's gonna be passed along. That one's a declutter along with this next one. This is actually one of the more recent Ipsy palettes. This is the collab they did with Betty Boop. And these colors in here, they're just not really me. It's not something that I gravitate towards when I'm choosing my eyeshadows. I know it's newer and I say I always like to keep the newer ones for a little bit longer just to give them a fair shot, but I know myself and I know the looks I tend to create and I just don't see myself really reaching for this one. So she is gonna be passed along rather than having her sit here. Then I got another Kat Von D palette here. I forgot about this one almost. This is the 10 year anniversary eyeshadow palette. I personally love the color story of this one and that's why I purchased it. I think there are some great shades in there. I had a lot of fun experimenting with it so I'm definitely gonna hold on to that one. I have one more Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. This is the last one though. This is the Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette and I loved this palette. I have had this one for way too too long now, <laughs> as you guys can tell. This is definitely a really, really old palette. Oh gosh, when did I get this one? My mom got this for one of my birthdays when I was still living at home, so I must have been like 18 or younger. So this palette is definitely way too old to still be using. I have loved it, but it's time to move on. And it's all right because that color story was more on the neutral toned one and I got this Tarte palette here that's kind of gonna replace it. It's actually the same kind of idea. Just to kind of give you guys a little bit of comparison, it's got the like different panels within it. I mean, different color stories a little bit, but same kind of concept. And of course, this is a face palette as well. So this is the Clay Play Face Sculpting Palette. So you're supposed to use like eyeshadow and then contour, bronzing, the whole shebang. So it's a little all-in-one combo palette. And I actually really like this one. This is a good one if you just wanna do a little neutral glam or have an all-in-one if you are traveling. So this one definitely comes in handy. So I'm gonna be keeping her for sure. This is another palette I'm definitely gonna be hanging on to at least one more round. This is the Violet Voss. X Nicole Concilio eyeshadow palette. Such good formulas inside of this palette. I mean, they are absolutely magnificent. So she is a stay-in. Keeping her right there. Did a quick recap here because I was like, hold on, how many am I keeping? How many, how many am I getting rid of? And so far I'm getting rid of 24 and I'm keeping 23. So I think I'm doing pretty good. 
So right now we're at 50% gone, a little bit more. Then I got another Ipsy collab palette that I am gonna be decluttering. This is the Tetris X Ipsy palette I got in my Ipsy box, obviously. It came with six colors, there was three shimmery shades and three matte shades. And I actually haven't dipped into this palette much. I actually haven't tested out that navy blue shades. The shimmer shades were really pretty, but honestly, I have a lot of shades that are similar inside of the other palettes, so I don't really gravitate towards this palette all that much. If I hadn't gotten it in my Ipsy bag, I would not have bought this on my own, to be quite honest, because it just really didn't captivate me. I don't know, just something about these six shades just really didn't flow for me and it's just not a palette I honestly reach for all that much so gonna part with her I forgot about this one so this is the balm in the balm of your hand <laughs> the greatest hits volume 2 long title there I found this one at Burlington got it for a really sweet deal if I do say so myself I was really excited about this one because it came with a mini version of the Bahama Mama the bronzer and then it came with these three blushes and then it comes with these eyeshadows up here and then this one was the Mary Lou Manizer so this is a highlight over here so I just thought that this was a really fun combo palette that's again kind of good for traveling so you got your blushes you got your bronzer you got your highlighter and then you could do a little quick eyeshadow look with that one up there so this one I'm definitely gonna hang on to very convenient palette to have oh goodness then we got my alter ego collection here <laughs> so I have four by Alter Ego. I have the Goddess palette. I had this one on my eyes in my Jeffree Star Lucky Bag unboxing. Got a lot of compliments. This is what I was wearing. Then I have my Sahara palette right here. Great like smoky eye fall eyeshadow look. Love that one. Good combo. Got the Aurora palette, which is more of a fun, bright springtime palette, at least in my opinion. I got the Daydream palette here. Had some really unique shades inside of there. Not a fan of that concealer shade. It's also gotten a lot of eyeshadow inside of it, but I also just wasn't a fan of the formula of that one. But I love the eyeshadows that came in here. So I'm actually gonna hang on to all of my Alter Ego eyeshadow palettes just because I think they're really, really good quality. And I love the color story of all of these ones. There's not one that I dislike. So I'm gonna keep those for sure. Then I got a tough one here. So this is my Malt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette. Oh gosh, this is gonna be messy. So I'm sure you guys may have already seen this. I mean, this is an older palette, but you know, when they were first coming out, there was some issues after people had had them for a little while that the formula actually started to puff up and crumble, which is what is happening to mine. I think I saw on their Instagram, it was a matter of how they pressed it and they use a different method than others. The formulas are actually like puffing out of their place and that's why it looks like this and it's spilling out all over the sides. Not much I can really do about it. You can repress it, which I have done a few different times. I've kind of like squished it back into place, but it does actually pop back up. So I think the only way to make sure that this doesn't happen is to like depan them and repan them, pressing them down like really hard because kind of going through and just like smushing them down doesn't really work as like a long-term solution, which is so unfortunate because I loved, loved this palette. I gave this one away in a giveaway back when I first got it because I loved it that much. So this is, this is a tough one, but you know what? I think I'm gonna try to do that method that I just said was scraping them all out and re-panning them because I really love this palette. So I think I'm gonna try to save it. I'm gonna try to depan them, repress them, do the whole shebang. And then if that doesn't work, then I'm probably gonna declare it this palette. But for now, I'll see if I can save it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I think with their newer batches, they did correct that issue and they were pressing them differently. Let me know if you got one after the whole thing happened, if yours is still staying good. Definitely very curious because if I wanted to like repurchase it, is it still gonna do the same thing? I don't know. 
Ooh, got another one that I'm gonna be keeping. This is my Bright Lights by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. This is another one of my really fun, adventurous, colorful palettes. Let me fold that mirror back there. So I love the matte colorful shades in here and the two shimmery shades that they have here on the end. I actually ended up not being the biggest fan of the sparkles. I think I just have too oily of a face and things just don't really stick on me. So I'm very selective with the glitter formulas that I do enjoy. And these just unfortunately don't hold up throughout the whole day. But I love all the other shades in here. So I think I'm gonna still hold on to it because I really did enjoy it. This was actually one of my purchases when I went to IMAX with my mom and we had such a good time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang on to her. She's not that old anyway. It was only from 2018? Oh my gosh, has it already been two years? Wow, time flies. We got ourselves another boxy charm palette here. This is the Pure Festival palette. Now this one, again, I did have some issues with the glittery shades. They just did not hold up all day for me. Not a fan of those. I did like the color story of everything else that was in here. I actually created some really fun, funky looking looks, especially with the pink and the purple. But aside from the pink and the purple, I mean, it's kind of a neutral color story, which I have in quite a lot of my palettes. So I think I'm gonna declutter this one because I do have some other palettes with similar colors within them. So it's time to pass her along. Oh man, you guys, only a couple more left. We almost made it. I actually got one more boxy charm palette. This is the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette. This one, I think I'm definitely gonna keep because it's different than all my other eyeshadow palettes. This is a cool, cool tone eyeshadow palette. I mean, if you guys notice a theme with my other palettes, I'm definitely more of a warm toned gal. I don't know why I don't do more cool tone palettes. Not really sure. I think I just, you know, gravitate towards the warm. Need to start experimenting with some more cool because this is a really pretty palette. I've done some really fun looks with this one. So hanging on to this one. Then I've got a little bit of a Sigma here for you guys. So I got the Warm Neutrals Volume 2. She looks like that, very beautiful. And then I also got the Viper palette which was their holiday collection for last year, I believe. So I got these two eyeshadow palettes. And although I really like the Viper palette, I think I'm gonna declutter this one. I don't really reach for it all that much, so I think I'll pass that one along. It was also a holiday collection, so it's no longer sold. So I try to not keep that many limited edition stuff on hand because if I do a look or something like that and you guys like it, you cannot go out and purchase that palette. So I try my best not to use limited edition stuff. And then I will keep the warm neutrals one because this is a good kind of classic eyeshadow palette. I've definitely gotten a lot of use out of it. So I'm gonna hang on to that one. Okay, not bad. One and one there. I got another one that's gonna be a one and one here. I got some Juvia's Place. I got the Nubian by Juvia. This one came in an Allure box. It's a mini version here. Oh gosh, is it gonna be one on one? I don't know. And then I have the Zulu palette here. Gorgeous shades. I actually wore this for my graduation. Did a really pretty combination of this one, this one, this one, and that one. So many compliments on my eyeshadow that day. Mwah. Beautiful, so hanging on to that one for sure. You know what, I'm gonna keep both because this one's a good little mini travel one. I was thinking I was gonna declutter it because I have so many neutral tone kind of palettes, but this one comes in a mini, so it's travel friendly. By the amount of palettes I keep that I say is good to travel with, you would think I would be traveling a lot, but I actually don't. <laughs> I actually used to travel a lot more before we moved because we would always go up to my husband's parents for the weekend, and that's when I would really need them, but now that we're up in the Bay Area, we uh, actually stay home a lot more, but oh well. Oh, I got some more Morphe. I almost forgot about these ones. So this one right here was an Ipsy palette. Actually, this is not even in the right drawer. This is the Highlight and Sculpt palette. So this is uh, strictly for face. You don't even belong here. What are you doing? And then this one is the Artistry palette, the 25B palette. 
I just got this one in my mystery, eye mystery box by Morphe. And I'm actually gonna keep this one because I am still kind of playing around with it. I did get rid of my two older Morphe palettes, so you know what, I'll keep one of my Morphe palettes. I'm actually pretty surprised I don't have more Morphe palettes. That's That one and the two older ones is the only ones I've gotten. Oh, and the James Charles palette. I know, shocking. And then there were only four. All right, gotta be cutthroat here, gotta be cutthroat. So, oh gosh, this is gonna be painful. Corellia, look away. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So this is the ABH, what is this one called? Illuminate with your youthful synergy. I think this one was limited edition, might have been. <laughs> I say Corellia, look away because she actually got me this palette. I'm so sorry, but I am gonna be decluttering this one because I just have a lot of eyeshadow palettes with this kind of colors inside of it and I honestly don't really reach for it all that much. Oh my God, I feel so bad saying it. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to get rid of that one. Then I have the Laura palette here. This is the Alter Ego eyeshadow palette. I actually haven't used this one all that much as you guys can tell by how clean it is. <laughs> That's a surefire sign of how little I have dipped into a palette because if I use it a lot, it's messy. So yeah, I don't really reach for this palette all that much. I mean, nothing really wrong with it. It is very pretty, but yeah, I just don't really reach for it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along, which is actually gonna be the same case, unfortunately, with my City Limits palette by IBY Beauty. This one, I definitely used it quite a bit. As you guys can tell, this one's definitely a lot more dirty. <laughs> I dipped into this one a little bit more. It's got some good colors in here. I've created some good looks with it. Nothing wrong with the shadows themselves. It's just, you know, not really a palette that I reach for all that much. So I will pass her along. I'm gonna give her a little bit of a cleaning here and hand her over to someone else. There we go. Cleaned her up. Which brings me to the very last eyeshadow palette here. This is another Morphe one. I totally forgot about this one. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. Which one was this one? This was the Dark Magic. Now, I actually got this one quite a while after the launch of the palette. You know, I, I didn't do a review on it as soon as it came out. With everything that was going on, I felt like it was a little bit unnecessary. This one was the one that attracted me the most, just because I felt like the colors in here looked a little bit more up my alley and it just looked a little bit more interesting. I know there was a lot of mixed reviews with this one, but I don't know if it's because I bought it much later after the launch and you know, every, things happened after that, but I actually have no issues with the formulation of this palette. I think it's good quality. I saw no issues with it and I like it, so I am keeping it. Oh man, but that was it. This is a good looking drawer now. I can actually shut this and have room. Look at that. Look at the holes in there. I can put stuff in there. All right, so let me do a quick recount here. See how many I am keeping and see how many I got rid of, especially since I found out some palettes were not supposed to be in here. They were face ones or single shadow ones. Let's do a recount. Okay, so 36 I am keeping and 30 I am getting rid of. Holy guacamole. I wonder if I could even show you how many I'm getting rid of. I had to pull out a basket here because there is just too many to carry. So everything in this basket and everything here in my hands, I am gonna be decluttering. This is actually very exciting to me. I would definitely classify this as a huge success because 36 keeping, 30 getting rid of, that's 66 to begin with. So what is that, like 45% I got rid of? I, I would say that's actually really good. I was hoping for at least 30 to 40%, so 45%. I will take it. I will have to do my other eyeshadow palette drawer in another video because there is way too many to be doing inside of this video. This is probably gonna be a long one anyway, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this declutter with me. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.